For every believer, we know that we always win the battle and challenges in our life because of our authority in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. And I believe for every believer, we have confidence from God because of our authority in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. And authority from the Lord makes the believer strong and to win the battle in any situation, in every moment of our life. So, but right now, what is your battle and challenges in your life? Maybe you have sickness that is impossible to cure. Or maybe you are trying to restore a broken relationship with your spouse, kids, and your close friends. Or maybe... You're trying to look for a better opportunities. Maybe you're looking for a better job. Or maybe you're looking for a better business for you. And I believe that whatever you're looking for, God will fight for you. Amen? And whatever you are facing right now, claim it to the authority of the Lord. Like, if you remember the story of David and Goliath. This is our main verse for today. So if you have your Bible, open it to 1 Samuel chapter 7, 17, sorry, verse 45 to 40, 46, I think. So I will read it now. So David replied to the Palestine, You come to me with sword, spear, and javelin, but I come to you in the name of the Lord of heaven's armies, the God of the armies of Israel, whom you have defiled today, the Lord will conquer you, and I will kill you and cut off your heads. And then I will give the head, the dead bodies of your men to the birds and wild animals. And the world will know that there is a God in Israel. Amen. Praise God for this wonderful verses. So, in these verses, the most interesting part in the battle is David acknowledged the name of the Lord. Amen? And not only he declared the name of the Lord, he declared that Goliath will be defeated, Goliath will be died, and their armies will be eaten by the wild animals and the birds. And in the same way, in our life, in the same way, in our life, from the beginning of our battle, we have to acknowledge first the name of the Lord Jesus Christ and declare that we will win the battle, that any challenge in our life to defeat the enemy. Amen. Do you believe on that? Do you believe that there is authority inside of us? There authority for every believer that we can claim the, the victory in our battle. And I believe, I believe, even before, from the very beginning, when God created us, there's already victory in our life. Amen? Do you believe on that? We have to declare it every moment of our life. They declare the name of the Lord before he fight into a battle. Amen? And I believe that's one of the secrets in order for us to win the battle. Amen? So, in this, in this verses, also David was an instrument to defeat Goliath. Amen? And in the same way, we as a believer, we are also an instrument to defeat any challenges, any battles, anything that you are thinking right now. We are designed to win this battle because of the authority in the name of our Lord. Jesus Christ. Amen. Can we clap our hands because of the Lord Jesus Christ? Amen. That's very powerful. So, this is real confident. When you declare the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, you are connecting yourself to the authority of the Lord and the power of God to defeat the enemy. You are connecting to God 
the powerful God in the universe, the God of Israel, the God of this world. Amen? And the moment you declare our Lord Jesus Christ, God will strengthen you. That God will strengthen you. He will rescue you. He will uphold you with His righteous hand. And He will never lead you into a battle. And that is the interesting part. Especially if you have faith in Him. You know that God is in front of you for every battle. Amen? And the reason for every winning in, in this world, for winning the battle, because in every challenge of our life, we have to give all the glory only to God. Not for ourselves, only for mm -hmm. God. Because He is the one working. If you remember our sin, working in us, right? God is working for you to win this battle. Not in your own strength, not in your uh, mind, not in your ability, but in God alone. Amen? And in verse 46, he mentioned there, and the world will know that there is a God in Israel. So in any victory of our life, all the glory must be given to God alone. Amen? Not you, not your friends, not your family, not your spouse, but for God alone. Amen? As a believer, uh, our authority works sometimes in a very, very unique way. So, this is my experience. I remember a couple of months ago, I was caught by a police due to speeding. Then, while waiting for the ticket, I declared the Lord with a voice, with a humble heart. I was embarrassed that time, but I have to do it. I pray to God, Lord, I made a mistake. I honestly made a mistake. But through your merciful name, I will entrust this situation. I know I made a mistake, but Lord, please help me. Because every time we are caught by the police, they want me to get stuck in our mind. Maybe we will get a huge amount of ticket, maybe. So we don't know yet. So why uh, suddenly, this is the best uh, interesting part. Suddenly, I hear a still small voice from God. I will take care of this. And the time that I hear that small voice, I feel the confidence and I feel the presence of God, of God, of course. And in as a result, I just received a warning ticket. And praise God, I know that's a huge amount. If I penalty, get a penalty, I know. But God is working in us. It's very unique and very simple, but in every moment of our life, we have to acknowledge God and declare, declare that we will overcome the situation. Amen? Because God is always, always, always helping in our life, in any situation. Amen? And in reality, the authority of God will help us to overcome our problem, especially in our heart, the fear. God will help us to overcome our fear. I have always a fear in, in my heart, especially in front of talking to the people. This is my greatest fear, but through God's mercy, through God, the God's love, He will help us to overcome our fear. And God will show you how good you are. And God will show you what is your real purpose in life? And that is very powerful. You never know that one day you will be one of the good preachers. One day you will be part of the song leader. One day you will be one of the good evangelists. Whatever you think for God, it will happen to you, especially if that's the will of God. And that is very, very powerful. Amen? So, claim it. Claim it. Claim it. Amen? So, one time, it struck, uh, one time it struck in my mind, so how about if we ignore this authority, this privilege that God gave it to us? So I believe one thing it will affect is our trust in God. That is one will be affected. Number two, 
our relationship with God, that will also affect if you ignore the authority that was given for us. Amen? And I believe you will think that the best solution for ignoring this authority, maybe you will think a best solution, maybe you will skip from any challenges in your life. Maybe that's the best solution that you will think first. Or maybe you will think, you will, when you ignore the authority, you will think maybe you will have less pressure in your life without facing any challenges. Right? Or maybe you will think you will enjoy your life without using the authority, without facing the challenges, without, uh, without looking for God's purpose in your life. It's so sad if we ignore this authority, these privileges from God. Amen? And also, if you ignore this authority, the result is sometimes you will miss some of the purpose of God in your life. That is so powerful that you really don't want to happen in your life. And also as a result, you will miss some of the power of God in your life that is so precious, very precious to you. You really don't want to happen that. Amen? That is the thing if you ignore the authority of the Lord Jesus Christ. And this is one of the good things. How do you know when the authority of God works for you? How do you know? What do you think? The best thing that we can do as a believer, try to do the impossible things that you think you cannot do it for yourself, but God can do it for you. Amen? Try to do something for God that you think you cannot do it for yourself, but God can do it for you. Try to think about that. And because I believe in this verses with, with God, everything, everything is possible. We have to claim it. Everything, everything for God is possible. And how the authority works, how, what do you think? How it works for us, for, for the believers? Amen. So, I believe that one thing that, you, one thing that you can do is believe in your heart and declare it with your mouth. Like when we got saved, we believe in Jesus Christ, our Lord, and we declared Him as the Son of God. That is one of the secret way to use that authority. Believe in your heart and declare with a voice, with a voice in your mouth, like you are confessing. And you will experience the power of God more and more. And the good thing is, if you experience that, you will say in your heart, God, I will fight for you more and more. God, I will love my spouse more and more. I will love my kids more and more. And I will love my friends more and more because I know that I can do it without you. I can do it with you, Father. And whenever you are using, this is a good thing, whenever you are using the authority of God, you are exercising the privileges as a children of God. All of us, we have the privilege to use this authority. And one of the good firsts here in the Bible, in Matthew chapter 16, verse 19, it says that, and I will give you the keys of kingdom of the kingdom of heaven. Whatever you forbid on earth will be forbidden in heaven, and whatever you permit on earth will be permitted in heaven. It means that whatever we permit on earth, it will be permitted in heaven because of our authority from God. And as I heard in one of the pastors, uh, when a policeman pull over you, you should stop, right? But when an ordinary people pull over you, you might as well just ignore him or pass him, right? And the good thing is, in the same as a believer, we are like a police that has authority from God 
hid here on earth that will be permitted in heaven. Do you believe on that we are like a police that has the authority to cast out demons, that has authority to heal the sick, that has the authority to overcome our fear, that has the authority to live in a peaceful life. Do you believe on that? Amen.